good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we have wwe action figure surgery episode number 19 we got a lot of good stuff on today's episode guys i'm very excited about all of the fix-ups and the swippages and swappages that we like to do here on action figure surgery we got a lot of great things going on first of all we have alistair black the legendary nxt target exclusive alistair black is making his first appearance here on action figure surgery and we're going to attempt to make this man taller here today you need to stretch him out get those freaking knees and lower legs stretched out so that he can actually be the accurate height i believe he is six foot i said in the other unboxing video that he was around six two and you know we went through it he is actually six foot i could have sworn he was six one or six two but i guess i'm just imagining things or maybe wwe just says he's six two when he's actually six foot tall but anyways he's way too short he's literally the height of like daniel bryan and we got to fix that so that's what we're going to be doing for alistair black and that's uh, we're going to be switching this Miz's, this Elite 59 Miz that my boy Christian from Unstable 1047 sent me. I think that these lower legs and possibly the knees too, we'll, we'll, we'll switch the knees over as well just, just to do it. Just maybe that'll, that'll add some to it. But we're going to switch these knees and lower legs over there and hopefully that will do the job and make him the accurate height. So that's what we're going to be, be doing for Aleister Black. John Cena over here, you guys will see. We got two different John Cena's. We have the, I think this is the best of pay per view build a figure. The, uh, the, the Elite 20 was different, or this may be the Elite 20. I can't remember, but we're going to be taking my MDT champion John Cena, as you see right here, guys. We're going to be switching his arms and his legs over to this John Cena because I want him to have the light blue shorts look for the Royal Rumble. You guys know he will be defending the MDT championship versus Roman Reigns and CM Punk at the MD MDT Royal Rumble. So that is what we're going to be doing for John Cena. And I want him to look fresh going into there. He's rocked that black shorts attire for a while. Time to switch it up a little bit. Over here, we have Kevin Owens. He is making another appearance here on Action Figure Surgery. This may actually be his first appearance, but you guys know he did break his foot off. As, as you guys can see, his foot's right here. He took a nosedive, and his foot broke off. So we're going to be fixing that. Um, if you guys missed the tattoos video yesterday, you guys need to go check that out. We went over all these new tattoos that I added to update Kevin Owens. But one thing we're going to do today is when he... He returned to SmackDown Live, guys. He actually was rocking these shorts right here, the Elite 47 Kevin Owens shorts. These exact shorts, the black with the fight on each side in gray, he wore these exact shorts, and he was wearing boots. So I thought, why not go ahead and switch the total legs? So we're going to take these legs from this Kevin Owens and switch them onto the Elite 66 Kevin Owens, and then bamsies malamsies, we're going to have an updated KO. The only thing that won't be accurate is the white wrist tape, but I'm sure he's going to be switching that in the next week or two, or at fast lane when he turns heel or something and beats up Kofi. I don't know. He's going to turn heel soon and uh, he's going to switch to black tape or he'll probably wear black tape soon anyway. So not going to take the time. If he ends up keeping it for a while, I will end up painting it, but we're not going to do that here today. We are going to switch those legs though to give us that updated return Kevin Owens look and that will be all of the swippages and swappages guys. So let's go ahead and get started. I guess we can start off with Aleister Black and we will continue on. So of course, so our first order of business, guys, is going to be to use our white hair dryer right here, and we are going to heat up these lower legs of not only The Miz and Aleister Black, and hopefully uh, this gets the job done. I don't know if I'm going to switch the knees as well right now. I don't know. I, j I just would hate to switch out the lower legs, and then, I don't know, I, I just don't know if the knees are tall. I don't know. Let's just heat it up, and then we'll go from there. All right, guys, that should be good enough. Let's go ahead and see if we can pop off the Miz lower leg. And my God, his leg is so hot that it actually almost burnt me. But it is literally loosey-goosey. So let's just see if we can go ahead and get this leg off here. All right, we got the first leg off. I'm going to take the peg with it. And again, I don't know. I'm taking his knee pads, though, for sure taking those. Those are mine now. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead. We'll just go ahead and take off the knee. Again, I, I hate putting them in the upper thigh, though. No, screw that, man. We're not We're not doing it. I, I just don't like switching out the, the upper leg is wet, much harder, in my opinion, to switch out than the, uh, the lower leg. So we're just going to leave that. I'm trying to get this freaking peg out of this hole here. You know what? F it. We'll move on to black, but we are taking these knee pads. Those are mine. All right, so we're done with the Miz here. Now let's see if we can get these lower legs of black off. Should be relatively easier. There we go. Getting the black peg out of there. And we need to leave the knee pads on. That is one thing because we don't want to lose the knee pads. So there is that. 
go ahead and do that. Maybe it'll be hot enough to just slide back on here. We're gonna put the peg back inside. We're going to put the Miz leg on here. Oh, uh, they're both so loosey-goosey. Come on. I don't wanna have to reheat this ish back up. Come on. It's just so freaking loose. Like, the, the knee is so loose because of how hot it got. And his boot popped off, but we finally got that lower leg on there. So there is the right leg. Now all we have to do is somehow get the other leg back on there, but we're probably gonna have to heat that hoe back up, but yeah, let's go ahead and do it. You know, we're gonna have to do it anyways, and we have to heat up the lower legs of Alistair anyway because we have to get his kick pads off, so what we're going to do is heat up all of these kick pads, I guess, and then we will go from there. All right, guys, so maybe that is long enough. Maybe this Miz lower leg will pop into this Alistair Black knee here. But let's just see here. Go ahead and slide it through. It's so freaking close. These are so hard to do on camera because I don't know if I'm, like, showing you guys or if it's just, you know, I'm way over here and you guys aren't even seeing it. And then I go back and look and you guys didn't even see it. And I'm trying my best to, you know, this, the whole point of the series is to teach, Brad. How can I teach people if I'm not actually showing it on film here? But uh, let's go ahead and see if we can push this through. I think that got it. Ooh, it felt close. Golly, it's so close. I did go ahead and pop off the Alistair Black boots off of those lower legs. So now all we have to do is literally just get the freaking peg through the hole here. And we can move on to the next part of it. Get it? Yes, I finally got it. So now we can pop this, the Miz boot off. Now just add the Alistair Black boots. Adding the Alistair Black boots. And we are finally done with Alistair Black. Boom, there it is. You guys can see the lower legs there. Hopefully that actually makes him taller, you know. We didn't need him to be like, you know, super duper tall. But hopefully that put him in accurate proportions or at least taller than he was. So we'll have to see that uh, later on and uh, we'll take a look at everything. So our next order of business, guys, is going to be to switch out the full legs of these two different KOs. Again, we do have the Elite 66 KO and the Elite 47 KO, so almost 20 series apart here, and he still wore these shorts on SmackDown Live, so all we have to do is, we don't have to touch the upper bodies at all. All we literally have to do is just spread the legs here and about put it maybe like right there, and then spread this KO's legs and put him about right here, and that should, this should literally work perfectly there shouldn't be any problems here we should literally be able to heat up these legs and it, they're on ball joints both of his all of his elites are on ball joints so all we should do is heat it up and then they should just go pop on pop off and get out of there so it should be a relatively easy thing to do so let's go ahead and hit it All right, guys, that should be way past good enough. So we just take this, and I forgot that, you know, his legs are pretty thick here. So, you know, you don't want to uh, go in there just ripping stuff off. You don't want to just break stuff. But here we go. There's the other leg. There's the other leg. I love this about ball joints. They're super duper easy to uh, switch in and out here. But we'll grab it right here. Um, and then just push. All right, got it there. Did not want to go on, but we got it. Now we're going on to the right leg. And boom, so we'll take a look at Kevin Owens when we are finished. So we go ahead and put KO over there with Aleister Black and we will take a look at him at the end. And then for this Kevin Owens, he, he is gonna have a broken foot so that, that kinda sucks, but, and his KO is not gonna match his short or his shirt exactly, but uh, I could like paint that blue or something. I don't know, we'll figure out something in the future there. Cause I actually already had the Elite 66 Kevin Owens before it even released, I had the custom of it. So I'm not too worried about we're ruining that attire and also I can always just buy another one. So. Not a big deal to me, but uh, we're going to put Kevin Owens over here to the side. And now we are moving on to our last thing, which is Jonathan Cena. And again, we're going to switch out the arms. And I really like this head scan for John Cena. I, I think that it fits better for this body mold on these shorts because the one that the MDT champion is, uh, is on right here, this head scan right here is for the taller body mold. So I don't know. I feel like this head scan just fits better proportionally to this body. And actually, these arms are supposed to go on that same thing. So honestly, I should probably switch out the arms for some different arms, but we're not going to do that. I just think I love the chain gang look of John Cena. It just looks better all together with the MDT look. So what I'm going to do is strip this man down off of, uh, out of all his clothes. We're going to switch out these legs here because this, these are like a weird yellowish tone. I don't know if you guys can see that, but these are more accurate to John Cena. This has like a 
I don't know, like they painted over black with skin tone or something. So we're going to switch those. We're going to switch the arms. And I don't know. I think I'm going to keep this head scan on here. I have a million of it. This one's kind of paint chipped, but we can switch that at a later date or something. But we are going to switch these. So let's go ahead and hit it. So the first order of business is going to be to switch out these lower legs. And I guess we can just stack them. That would probably be the best way to do it. And hopefully they don't blow all over the effing place. But uh, we will only know once we start. So let's go ahead and hit it. All right, guys, should be good enough. Let's go ahead and just pop this off right here. Oh, snapsies. There it goes. And then the other leg, got that. And then the other leg, got that. And then the other leg. So we got four legs. This should just pop right on right here. And then this one should just pop on right here. Very easy to switch out there. I guess we can go ahead and put these on the black shorts, which which will probably look pretty fresh anyways. They gave them the lime green with the Elite 40. This is the one that came with the United States Championship. And yeah, that looks pretty solid too, but we're not done with this Cena because we got to switch out the arms still. So I guess what we're going to do is put his arms over his head here, and we're going to heat the uh, upper body up now. And let's go ahead and do it. All right, guys, that should be good enough here as we pop off the... Oh, my God, his arms are like jello, so there we go. And then the other arms... Got that one. And then the other one. God Almighty, his torso's on fire. But anyway, switching this over here. You guys will notice the back of his head, again, is paint chip, but I'm not worried about that right now. We can uh, switch that at a later date. I just wanted to make sure that we got these arms switched out and stuff like that. Because a head swap, uh, I didn't want to switch it with that specific head, and I don't feel like digging through my fodder box there. But there is that Cena, and now we're going to go over to the other one and pop this on there. And then what we'll be doing is taking a look at everything we've done here today on action figure surgery. And now we have like a sweet little green armband black short fix-up Cena there. But now let's take go ahead and round everything up. We're going to take a look at Alistair Black, Kevin Owens, and John Cena all together. All right, guys, so taking a look at everything we did today here on WWE Action Figure Surgery, you guys will see that Alistair Black is still a little bit too short. He's definitely taller than he was. I will say he's definitely taller, but I still am not completely satisfied with the switch here. I, I think that he could easily be, a, like, he needs to be, like, right here. He needs to be even with John Cena. I believe John Cena is six foot tall so he needs to be just a little bit taller and I honestly maybe switching out the knees would have helped um, the problem is you can't switch out you know the legs or anything because first of all he's not on ball joints so you can't just switch those out second of all you have you know the tattoos that you don't want to lose and all of his tattoos are you know very prominent to what Aleister Black is so it's kind of hard to create that uh, correct height, but I, I want to do it, and I honestly am not sure how I will do it. I mean, to be honest, I could switch out maybe his knees and lower legs with a Seth Rollins, like a top talent Seth Rollins or something, but I would lose the gold on the kick pads, which isn't the biggest deal. You know, you'd still have the gold on the back of his trunks. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but I'm definitely going to play with it. If I update it or fix it, I will let you guys know and show it off in a video. That way you guys will know exactly how to fix your Aleister Black if you have one, if you're trying to fix that height, because I know that the height's a big like that's a big problem man you like if you guys saw in the unboxing video from a few days ago that we got from christian the drew mcintyre literally is a mountain of a man over this guy i have drew right here let's go ahead and just like just look at the height difference between these two this man is literally just towering over him and this is only supposed to be a five inch difference but it's way more than five inches so i really do not know exactly what to do, but I'll figure that out and we'll see in the end, but I like the rest of the swaps we got going here. Kevin Owens looks great. He looks exactly like he does on SmackDown Live. If you guys uh, remember what he wore, if I can, I'll bring up a picture. He wore this exact get up here. You got the fight shorts, you got the black boots and everything. Again, the only thing not accurate is the wrist tape, but I explained that earlier in the video, but that is exactly what he looked like when he returned on the thing. And then, of course, we have John Cena and, oh, uh, KO took a dive there, but I love the way this John Cena looks. I love the the light jorts with the, the chain gang stuff and the chain gang shirt. This head skin looks good. I really like it. And of course, he has his white and pink and black sh uh, shoes that I customized a while back. And I like it a lot. I think he turned out great. I love the Kevin Owens. I like the Cena. And I, I'm going to fix this Aleister Black. I'm going to make it where it's accurate because it's driving me nuts. I hate how short he is because he's not that short. It'd be different if, you know, he was, he was that short. It's kind of like Dash Wilder and Scott Dawson. Their elites are really, really short too. I don't know why they give us that. I just, I, I don't know. 
it's not cool, it's not right, and I think that Leo Rush is probably the only one that should be that short, but anyways, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this episode of WWE Action Figure Surgery. I know that Aleister Black didn't turn out exactly like we wanted to, but we're gonna get that fixed. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Comment down below what you thought of all the swippages and swappages that we did here today. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.